What's up guys, today we have Realme 5 Pro LCD replacement. Customer bring this device with adhesive on the screen and the screen is not working anymore. So he told us to replace the screen for him. Let's do that. This phone was uh, fully pent and seems too much damaged and has been replaced screen before. So that's why I was able to remove the back plastic without too much pressure or heat. If this is the first time you need to heat the back plastic with a heated heating gun with 2 Celsius degree for every 30 seconds. Now you can remove all the screws. Remember to remove the SIM card slot before you proceed. This is very important. Now we can detach the frame from the housing using any plastic piece or tools. I don't recommend any metal tools. We have in the back a fingerprint flex cable. Please be noted not to cut that flex cable when you got to remove at the top, be careful, the fingerprint flex cable is thick on the inside, not from the outside. This is very important. Now you can unplug the battery. We have two flex cables, one to the screen and one to the charging port and to the subboard. Always I recommended to test the LCD before you proceed. You can now as me, you can connect it to the board. Then you can plug the battery in. After that, you can press the power button and power on the device and then you can test the screen some screens could be damaged so it's better to check before we can assemble on the device because we are going to put our own adhesive Now you can test the screen. Our dealers told me that the screen can't be touched. If I left it with my hands, it's need to be put on ground. Now the screen can be pressed without any problem. I have checked it twice. The screen need to be put on ground, on ground, on ground, on the phone, not on ground, on the ground. You put your feet. I'm going to test different things to make sure the screen is working without any problems and then I will assemble the screen. I just want to mention this with you. Now unplug the battery then you can unplug the screen flex cable. After that we will proceed to remove the old screen. Remove subboard flex cable. All right. The charging port on this flex cable can't be removed. Maybe need to be replaced. We need also to remove the battery because the screen flex cable is under the battery. You have this green sticker made to push or pull the battery out all right it's out remove the adhesive all right now we can remove the flex cable i didn't heat because the screen was out the customer he did Put adhesive to make the screen on place so that's why I didn't need it any heat now 
all you have to do is to clean all over the frame this is very important we don't need any tiny piece of glass or dust or whatever kept on there to be in there we need to remove and clean after that with alcohol our job need to be professional so when we put the screen the screen should be fit on place without any problem also the the frame is spent so I'm going to try to make it straight using my hands I don't recommend anything to paint with or you can buy a new frame it's the better for you you can do we can't put the screen on a paint frame so you have to make it straight or you can replace the frame whatever you think is better or whatever you think it can fit and work with you and you can proceed with it I'm going to paint the frame with my hands to make it good now we can get ready to put the adhesive in and assemble the screen bring your adhesive no need to put too much glue all over the frame and be careful not to put near the sensors the cameras the air speaker you can just make a line all over the frame and that's it and this is enough remove the blue stickers from the LCD then push the flex cable on the screen all right be careful to when you push it down now we can put the flex cable in and then we can press the screen on position connect the screen after that we will put the battery make the flex cable the same as mine now all what you have to do is to put all the pieces back where it was and that's it our job has been ended for now if you have any questions you can just write it in the comments below thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe
we will do something else in the next video. Peace. I'm going also to put some glow all over the back plastic because we don't any adhesive on it. This is important to close the phone for the customer. You can remove the extra glow using your hands or you can put alcohol with some cleaner and you can remove it easier.